This is what's called a teleost fish, which means a bony fish. Now, with um, gas exchange underwater, because water is so viscous and so dense, you can't have exhaling and inhaling as you would in a, a mammal on land. So, now, with this particular fish, if this was a um, what's called a cartilaginous fish, they do what's called ram vent ventilation. And basically, all they do is they open their mouths and they just swim in the direction of the water, and the water is forced through the gills. And there's a nice story a number of years back when they found a new shark called Megamouth, and they said, oh, we'll take this home, and they tied its tail, and they dragged it to the Sea Life Centre in California, and you find dead on arrival, because none of the water had gone through the gills. Okay, right. Now, what happens here, if you look in here, you've got this bit here, which is called the buccal cavity. If I look underneath here, you can see that what can happen here is this will pull up like so. And as it opens its mouth, that will drag water into it. It's a bit like when you see a goldfish go blub, 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 and that's bringing the water. It will then close its mouth, and then it will push down on there, and then... It will force water through the gills into this opercular cavity here, and it will go through the gills and out, like so. Okay. Now, the gills are very clever. In these ones, what you've got is you've got what's called a counterflow. Counter and you can see the water will actually come through here, and there should be, in theory, five sets of these. And he says, trying to pick them apart. Should be another one in between there. Yeah, okay, there we go. And the water will flow through and over these. Now, when you look at these close up, these are made up of little plates and are very, very, very fine. And we're talking about one cell thick as the water comes across here. So the water will diffuse. The goxin will diffuse into the actual things. And down here, that's called the gill rake here you will have the blood vessels. And the, you have an artery and you have a vein and the artery will supply blood into here and then the vein will take it back out again. Right, okay. Now, um, we've got a board pen. Right. So what happens is this. The, uh, here's the gill here. The, the um, blood moves across here, from there to there, and the water moves in the opposite direction like so. And it's called a counter current. Okay, so as the blood goes across like so, it will constantly take oxygen out and the water goes in that direction. So basically you have a high concentration of oxygen in your thing, much, much higher than you would if they were both going in the same direction. Okay, so that's called a counter current. Right, let's move that back in again. And you can just do put that down. Yeah. Because mm. actually, what you find there's two layers here, and they sort of fan out like this in mm. a sort of uh, mm. a V shape, which gives you your counter current. Just so. Yeah. Four and double. Yeah, it's definitely four. Sense. Yeah, double. Yeah, double. Mm. Yeah, can you now see the V? Yeah. It's very neat. So let's see if we can do this. If we do it upside down. See if I can not stab myself. stab myself again. <laughs> so it fills, mouth closes. Um, hang on, let's see if we can do it this way. Open and then close. There it goes. Just mm. see it's sort of pushing across just about. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Sorry, I'm just going to put it that way slightly. You can see the water coming through. There you go. 